But it's my first time to Karma Resorts. I'm out here in Karma Kandara, an unbelievably beautiful place. We're fortunate enough to sit out here having breakfast every morning, looking out over that amazing ocean. It's just beautiful, especially the coastline around here. The water is unbelievable. I'm very fortunate to be here with the rest of the England Seven squad and our families as well. It's an amazing opportunity for us to come and learn the experience. An amazing resort like this. We've had a couple of really fun times down on the beach, haven't we? Yeah, we had yeah, yeah. a sort of training session just to keep ourselves sharp, but the kids were getting involved as well down the beach. It was good fun. And then we all got together on Thursday night as well uh, this week, which was a really good evening. We had a barbecue down the beach and and uh, it was just a lovely chance to enjoy each other's company as well. Yeah, we, we had an awesome experience the other day going to meet the kids at the Bali Life Foundation and try and teach them a few skills um, and have some fun with them. And they're an amazing group of uh, kids and, and people that are working with that. And then we had some fun down with them on the beach as well with a bit of touch the other day as well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. It was really nice just obviously to meet them on the Wednesday and then see them again on the Thursday, them coming over for the barbecue. You know, it's something that personally I haven't done a lot of work with and it's, it's really nice to just see the smiles on their faces and what, you know, what Karma Group can do with the help of that orphanage. You know, about helping out kids that don't really have you know, people to help them and then obviously Karma stepped into that position to aid them and then obviously they were saying that some of the kids come back here to work and things like that which is great because in terms of a cycle that's that's exactly what you want you, you're helping them out at the ground level you let them go and do their own thing and then come back and they've got jobs here and you know it's sort of giving back a bit which is, mm. which is pretty awesome coming back this time it's been great for fran and i just to really enjoy the resort here so i think we've been on the beach for probably sort of eight hours of the day each day and just enjoying being in the water, you know, going snorkeling, all that sort of stuff and just enjoying being back. So so for us, it was really nice and you know, our families don't get that many opportunities to come out of the UK to come and see us. Um, and so obviously coming off the back of uh, the Commonwealth Games and coming here and having an opportunity for our families to meet here was, was pretty awesome. Yeah, so Flora and I experienced the Ocean Spa couples massage down on the beach there. I never experienced anything quite like that. It was a bit different to the sports massages we normally have. This one was a bit nicer than those ones. And it was just amazing with the waves washing up onto the beach and you just got the sound of the waves. And uh, yeah, it was really, really nice. I think what Phil was touching on is that you can have plenty of romantic moments here, here at Karma Kandara, especially with the view out having breakfast or having dinner there with the sun going down or having massages with your partner down on the beach. Um, some very special moments created here. Yeah, we've had the beef rendang and stuff like that, the yeah. nasi goreng. Everyone was raving about the coconut curry. I've had nasi the nasi goreng, going yeah. for, for breakfast a few times, which is good to, <laughs> it's good to be able to have that because obviously it's in, back in England, it's everyone has the same sort of breakfast, but coming out here and to be able to have rice or noodles with your coffee in the morning is quite nice. <laughs> coming out here, it's a different environment. You have to deal with what's down there. You know, you've got the beach and it's a certain size and things like that, so you adapt to what's there. It's obviously important for you know performing for us at the, the highest level of sevens and, and top level sport you have to kind of keep yourself sharp and keep yourself fresh so that's why we needed to do some sessions out here and we had a bit of a moment the other day when we were down there quite early morning doing some training and we we're just like this is unbelievable that we're getting to train in this environment yeah. for us after the tournament it's about trying to recover as best as possible so you eat the right things you sort of you get in the pools you you do the, the recovery that you need to whether it be icing injuries and all that sort of stuff because you've got to be ready to perform again potentially in maybe six or seven days and mentally we try and recover as well so obviously playing a, a sevens tournament takes a lot out of you mentally because constantly up and down and a huge amount of focus required. But that's why this, this has been great because 10 of us or whatever and a couple went for a walk, a couple on the paddle boards falling in um, and then the, you know there were a few other guys playing with their kids and stuff like that so in terms of switching off and relaxing. Our season so far has, has been a little bit up and down. We've had our tough times and we're sort of on the up now hopefully and I think the Commonwealth was a good example of that where yeah, we had some great performances, some, some awesome individual performances, but I think as a team and as a 12 and 13 that were out there, I think the performances there were great and, and hopefully that will stand us in good stead going for the rest of the season. It's, uh, it's just something exciting going into the next tournament in Singapore, off the back of this, you know, fully recharged and ready to go, see how we, we come through the back of that, which will be exciting. The 
Karma Group support with, with, with John and Gary that, that we met on Thursday night, like they love rugby, they love being involved with it and, and I think they've run a few competitions in the UK at school level, I think is it with the Rossin Park Sevens and things like that, that they're involved at all different levels and so for us to be associated with you know, with such a sort of high quality brand, which we've actually had to come out here and experience, which, you know, unfortunately we had to do it, <laughs> you know, so we could you know, really put a name to a face, but it's it's been great for us. And and I think as a as a team, you know, having sort of a, a global brand almost really helps us. And, and if we can get out there and, and show ourselves in those places, it's, it's it's good for us and good for them, I think. And, and as a, a company and a brand as well, meeting some of the people involved with it this week, they really get what it's about for us and they understand about our partners and our families and the importance of this week for us to, to create memories with them and, and create amazing experiences. Really, I think it's just a massive thanks from, from all of us as players, also from our families and also just as, you know, as individuals, like to be able to come to a resort like this and experience what we have and just enjoy each other's company, it wouldn't be possible without without them. And so, you know, a massive thanks to John and Karma Resorts and, and everyone at Karma Group because the experience that we've had here is, Mitch's, Mitch's word, unforgettable. And it's something that as a squad, you try and create memories, you try to create experiences for each other. And this is something that, you know, we'll, we'll remember for the rest of our lives and, you know, look back fondly and think, do you remember that time we did that and think, yeah, we did and how, how awesome it was. Just very grateful for the opportunity yeah. to come out here. John, it, you know, is awesome in terms of supporting us when we're around the world as well. And to kind of actually share a bit of this with him as well, it's been amazing. We're so grateful to everyone at Karma Group for giving us this opportunity. No, it's, it's been great. It's, it's been lovely to actually put a name to a face with John meeting him at the barbecue on Thursday and then I bumped into him just before I came here. And he just comes across as a really genuine bloke. Um, really generous as well and just the support that we've had from himself and the Karma Group has been incredible from the start of the season up until now and I'm sure it will keep going for a few years longer.